We bought this street legal motorcycle, enduro motorcycle on Amazon for 1400 bucks. And, and to be honest with you, I'm surprised it runs at all. The big question on my mind is how durable is this bike really? So we're gonna put it through the toughest torture test we can think of. Let's do it. It's gonna be a fun day. So before we torture test the bike, it's always good to give the bike a good proper warm up. Is it warm? Almost. Pretty close. That's pretty close. First impressions, Craig. I like it. It's not that bad. No, it's not. But why fun for the money? So I feel like we put that motorcycle through a lot of abuse. Is it, is it gonna be able to handle this test now? So basically, we're doing all the things that your dad told you not to do to your dirt bike or to his dirt bike. Or to any motors, any, probably anything actually. Where is Craig? Oh, there he is. All the way in the woods. I hit that, and the front end just talked. That's way deeper than it looks. The wheels and the bars went. I told you Craig was strong. To show how good Craig is at, at controlling this very large machine, he's gonna turn, he's actually gonna turn the bike on using that. <laughs> that was so fast. <laughs> yeah, I call this one a uh, bird alive. Ah, oh, you knocked it over, Greg. The lights turned on. <laughs> hey, Craig, do you see where I parked my bike? Uh, I don't. I think it's in there. I don't think he's going to pull it. So we're actually having a little bit of a technical difficulties. Not really technical. We're having a hard time getting the, the bike out of the dirt. That dirt is way heavier than what we thought it was gonna be. It's soaked, it's more like mud slash clay. We'll get it out though. We kinda have to. Looks brand new. Oh, uh, yo, hold it right there. Hold it, Craig. That's good. I'm about to ride it. You <laughs> yeah, baby. All right. This is 
not mud. This is clay. clay. Yeah, dude, dude, that was heavy stuff. Safety is our highest priority here at Bikes and Beards. That's why we build the only the, the quality of ramps. It's solid, man. This is we're good. Who's hitting it first? Well, Craig's the best. Yeah. Craig, let's do it. Craig's done the Baja. Craig's actually doing a motorcycle rally tour up in where? Colorado. Colorado. We'll, we'll put the information in the link below. If you guys want to ride with Craig. They do everything. They, they get you out there. They get your bikes out there. All that stuff. And you guys won't be riding Amazon bikes. If Craig bikes. makes this jump, you guys got to do this thing. Oh, this broke. By the way, we got to watch out. It broke. The clutch no, Craig, adjuster. No. Is it broken or just different? No, yeah, right? <laughs> it's just different. All you need is one gear. You don't need clutch. I'm hearing a lot of complaining from Craig pre, <laughs> pre this jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so I think I'm going to speak for Greg on this one. I think the plan is start from that blue building, get to about top speed, hit this, clear the, the stream, and then uh, victory high five. Cool. Hold my beer. Yeah, I'm trying to jump. So here's the competition. The bike starts. The bike starts right there. We gotta start right here. We gotta run up to the bike. It's just timed. Each we do it on ourselves. Run up to the bike, get it fired up, drive around, not that first tree, but that second tree. And then come back here, park the bike, and then that's your time. Me versus Craig. I like it. Go. Oh. What was that time? What is it? Forty one one five. Forty one one five. Go. Kirk almost tripped. <laughs> Put the kickstand down, come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> Beat him by one second. You know what happened? When I first got on the bike, the kill switch was on. Yeah. It didn't it down. Yo, Craig, that, Craig flipped it. That's why when I left the bike, I was like, bam, I turned it off. It worked. Uh, yeah, I parked it geared. <laughs> it turned the kill switch off to slow him down. Uh, it did. It took me. <laughs> it took you one Craig. second. <laughs> yeah, it took me one second longer. <laughs> right, Craig, you gotta stop parking Come your bike on. there. Sean. That might void, void the warranty, Frank. I say we should sell it, like like new, barely used. Yes, have a picture of it. Minor cosmetic damage. Never been in water. Never been in water. Never been off-roaded. Never been jumped. <laughs> oh, man. Right. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> so, you guys don't know about this. 
Damn. That's, <laughs> totally, a, that's a thing. You totally just made that up. That's a thing right there. Look at that. All right, that's good. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that bike's a monster. That is awesome. <laughs> So I heard that bike was not waterproof, but I think it is. Let's go find out. Let's go jump in that pond. Ooh, should we build that ramp back up? That's what I was just thinking. It'd be super funny if you stayed with it. It would really make it, dude. I mean, that'd be amazing. I got, <laughs> I got separate, I gotta change the clothes. I'm not gonna lie, I'll, I'll give you another 100 bucks if you, if, you, if you hang on to it. It's worth at least two. I think it is worth at least two. I'll give, you, I'll give you 200 bucks. So Craig, I just uh, checked the weather just to see what the temperature is. Outside temperature is 39 degrees. It's about to be the easiest $200 you've ever made. <laughs> it's gonna be a cold 200. It's gonna be a cold 200. Can you, have you touched the bottom yet? No. The plan oh. is, are you sitting double? <laughs> <laughs> the plan is Craig's gonna hit that jump as fast as he can. I'm ready to pull it now. All right. <laughs> yeah, Craig. Yeah, baby. Woo! Yo, how cold is that? So cold. Craig, the bike's floating. The bike's floating. Craig, is, is the bike still running? I didn't shut it off, no. This is a Dude, I went like straight up over the bars. Yeah, I know. Put my feet like up over my head. What is that? It feels like jello. Hot oh, sludge. Magma. I'm pretty happy my head didn't even get wet. I know, dude. Oh, <laughs> well, that was awesome. Yo, can you guys? <laughs> 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 Let's see if it'll fire up. What do you think, Craig? I don't know. It might. I'll, I'll walk it back up to the, uh, to the right. garage and then we'll hold it down. We'll get it all fired up. All right, sounds good. So after an entire day of non-stop torture, we hose the dirt and pond scum off. There's no way this bike can be revived after all that, but we need to try anyway. First, we drain about a gallon of water from the exhaust, then what appeared to be milkshake from the crankcase, and then we drained and replaced the fuel. We flushed the oil out a few times, and to everyone's surprise, this happened. Man, that thing's idling okay. Back to normal. So we bought a $1,400 motorcycle from Amazon that we thought would honestly be junk. We've dropped it a million times. We buried it alive. 
we jumped it, barely, and we rode in a pond. Is it the best bike ever? No. But for 1400 bucks, we still had a lot of fun. Now before you hit that subscribe button, we saved the toughest, most brutal, inhumane test for last. The Hawk 250 will attempt to watch more than five seconds of the Democratic debate. All right, ready to have me plead guilty? I plead guilty to have written a book which was an international bestseller, okay?